Hello everybody, this is Game Craze, and today we're going into the strange town in America known as South Park the Stick of Truth. And my first Let's Play this year, after over one-fourth of the year in. Yes, I am pretty ter- I have been pretty terrible this year when it comes to Let's Plays, but my life has been pretty hectic and since July of last year, so... And if, but I'm not going to go too detailed in it right now, because then we'll be here for the next 20 minutes, and I don't want to take up the whole video just staring at the title screen, so... To save you guys all that, I just want to go over real quick that I just played this game on my uh, Xbox One. You guys are probably wondering why I chose that first instead of going to this. Well, I prefer consoles. I just use my computer for recording these videos for now. <laughs> and, um... I I haven't really watched many South Park. I mean, I've only watched one episode, and that was in high school health class. Yes, I was allowed to watch. Yes, I was allowed to watch uh, South Park in high school in class once. I'll save that for a video. And uh, I can't say I was ever really into it much, but you know, after hearing so many good things about the two games that they made and being RPG, and you know me loving the f genre, I decided to give it a try and. I already beat this game and I thought it was actually pretty good, so I figured, you know, what better, since I'm in a bit of a South Park gamish mood, why not start uh, this year, late in, once again, sorry for that, doing this game. So, let's start, <laughs> before I start rambling again. Deep in the lands of Zaran, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick controls the universe. That's quite an epic way to start your RPG, huh? Alright, so anyway, we get to select make our own character in this game, so... You do this. This, which looks horrifying. Eh. That's not my skin color, so I can't use that. So I guess we'll just go with this. And these are our hair options. We get a lot more customiz a lot more items to customize later on. But I like this hairstyle the most, so we're going with this. And of course we're gonna make it blue. Because once I tried to dye my hair blue once, but it turned out to be quite a disaster. To make a long story short. After bleaching my head, which was painful, and uh, dyeing it, it turns out all the dye got caked into my scalp and it was incredibly itchy and we had no choice but to get it out. Yeah. So this game is basically a reminder. A reminder of what my hair could have been. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm gonna give myself this accessory because for some reason it just delights me so much. I love that. That's like my favorite accessory for your face. Just mud. Or is it mud? Yeah, it's mud, don't worry. And there's my character, guys. Get used to it. Even if you don't like it. Because <laughs> that's what we're stuck with. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? Not really. He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like... Like normal kids. Mom. We've got some money for Dad, you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just I have a confession to make. Dark. I'm an introvert. Yeah, we love you too. Hey, did you not hear me? I'm an introvert. I can't communicate well. How am I supposed to make friends if I can't communicate? And yeah, I really am an introvert. Would prefer not to go to big parties. So yeah, in traditional RPG, you get to move around. And can I say, I've never seen the show before, but it kind of amuses me how everyone runs as if they're constantly hopping up and down. Like, they can't move their legs at all, so the only way they can move is if they hop up and down. Look... Hop up and down, up and down, up and down. I don't know, it just it just amuses me. And if you run, it's like super hop. Okay, that's locked. We can't go in there. Before we go out, we might as well go to the bathroom. Oh. Sorry, guys. I was trying something. Wow, that technique really does work. Yeah, the button mashing in this game is very try, is very punishing, so I just quickly rubbed the A button left, right, side by side seems to work well, because it turns out going up and down, up and down doesn't work well. Or you can do it, but you'd find that your arm would tire really quickly. Especially later on in a game. Oh, pigtails. Never gonna wear them. Go on outside, sweetie. No, you don't. No, no. Oh, no, Dad, you're not making me go out. No, no. It wasn't a request. It was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. I don't want to make any friends. Can I just spend five minutes in my room? Will you go out and be a kid, for Christ's sake? Dad? You are a fucking prick. 
thank god my real dad doesn't like him. Alright, so since Douchebag of the Year basically locked us out of our own house, we have to go and make friends. Can't go in until we make new friends. Cause fuck our life. Or fuck my life, technically. You shall die by my Warhammer, Draw Elf! Nuh-uh! I banish thee to the Forest Realm! That way, I banish you first! Haha! <laughs> you can't hold out much longer! Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer! Help! Hey, no fair! That's cheating! I'm gonna tell my mom! Hey, you were beating him Thanks, up! Kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion! But my name is Butters the Merciful! I'm a paladin! I live right next door to you! We should be friends! And here's our first friend, Butters, a.k.a. the precious cinnamon roll of this world that must be protected. Yes, I love Butters. Butters is precious. He's like the little, he's like the little brother companion, and I love him to bits. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? You like Colorado? This is Colorado? Why are you wearing your hair like that? What's wrong with my hair? You don't talk much, do you? But that's okay, I can talk for both of us. Yeah, I guess I uh, don't talk much. Hi, Eric so, Cartman. You are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. <laughs> well, isn't he a lovely guy? Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Huh. Our weapon shop here nice is place. by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Kenny is a princess. I guess you gotta have a princess somehow, and there's not enough girls here. Hey, you make a lovely girl, Kenny. You actually look really... He actually looks really cute in a dress. There you go. Flower for you. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. Be careful, the Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. What kind of mysterious powers? Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the Rock again. Okay, you're healed. Okay, you're insane now. Okay, you're healed. <laughs> That's all he'll say, so let's just go talk to him. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. Okay, here's the funny bit of the game. You can type in whatever you want, whatever name, so... There. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? It doesn't matter what you say. I say if I, I say, if you say no, then you'll, uh, 
So I didn't say Are no. You sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? <sighs> Fine. Very well, Douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. Say, I only get to pick four classes in this game. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. Say, so yeah, I can either be a Jew... You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Mage or fighter. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but interesting. Jew, huh? You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. Wow. Anyway, I'm going with fighter. Because I, I like to... Because fighters actually have some really good abilities and good attack power, so... We're going with fighter. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Fighter. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. And now we get our weapon. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Sure. Don't waste your money on tips and rumors. Well, that was a waste of two dollars, but I guess I should have seen that one coming. Anyway. You're just supposed to buy a weapon. Come back later for other stuff. See, you can only pick the blade of Don't the weapon. Don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. Hey, I need to make my good choice. Even though I can only make one choice. That doesn't fit your class, stupid. Aw, but I wanted to see a fighter with a staff. How about a dagger? That doesn't fit your class, stupid. That doesn't one? fit your class, stupid. Oh, fine. Ah, a lovely purchase. So yeah, I can't buy anything until we get the tutorial done, so... You purchase your first weapon, press... You kid has checked out everything in my backyard. Hardcore gamer. Wow. <laughs> yep, I've played enough video games to know you must check everything. Or at least as much as you can. Okay, Fighter's Helm of the Inside, our first equipment. Learn the ways of the warrior and let this helm guide you down the path of problem-solving through violence. <laughs> Sturdy jacket bought on sale at the outlet mall. And perfectly fitted so you can quickly take names after you're done kicking some ass. 